But you know, I watch a lot of um, American Pickers. I'd love that job. And over the vast amount of episodes that I've watched, I've kind of got to know that when you find a barn find like this bike, it's probably going to be something that's good underneath. And I found this on eBay. Um, didn't pay too much for it, it was like 20 quid. But it's complete. They said it was stored in a, it was literally found in a barn. And look at the pictures. I mean, it just looked like some, uh, some dry, dry dirt, if that makes sense. It didn't look like it had gotten wet and gotten rusty, so I took a chance on it and I bought it. Um, as you can see, I mean, it is absolutely covered. I'm probably not going to like focusing, so let me zoom in. There you go. So it's covered in dirt. Absolutely filthy. I have, though, um, since getting it, decided to wipe, decided to wipe down a few parts, like here. And underneath, the original bronze is still showing through quite nicely. So what I'm going to do on this bike, I'm going to clean it up first, see what it looks like, and then strip it down, replace the cables and wires, and see how it looks. If you've got time, I'm going to polish up all the sort of alloy parts, like the uh, stem bars, brake levers, brake calipers, chain set, uh, seat post maybe, I don't know. That might be the one thing that's steel and chrome underneath, we'll see. But everything looks to be in good condition. I've got some new tyres to put on, because they are cracked. Um, got all the cables ready, so yeah. I'll clean it up and then uh, get back to you in a bit. Didn't I tell you it was going to be good underneath? I've had a uh, quick clean so far, I reckon. Um, and the paintwork underneath is beautiful. Uh, the tyres are definitely gone, so I'm going to have to replace them, but I've got them anyway. But yeah, this is the bike frame underneath. Super nice condition chain set. Go along, even the chain looks fairly good. Derail will clean up nicely. We've got going back up the brake calipers, which are in nice condition. They're actually like the pads on them, I don't think have been used. I don't know if this bike was used at all. I think it was just stored. Um, seat post and brake guide. Got a little bit of rust on them. But I'll just dunk them in some oxalic acid and then polish them. Back to the front. Focus. Focus. There you go. Back to the front, and we've got some Positron shifters. It actually snapped the cable um, when I tried to change the gear. So, gear cables definitely need changing. Um, I've got brake cables as well, but the brakes actually work still. So, got those. So, they're indexed as well, I believe. And this bike is a 1980. Let me just check. <coughs> 19, 1980. Um, the code's in there, but you probably won't be able to see it's too dark. It's 1980. Uh, saddle's cleaned up quite nicely. Needs a bit of like vinyl care on it. But yeah, very happy with this bike. Um, Barn find, so I'm just going to strip it down now, clean it even more, and we'll see where we go from there. So when it comes to the wheels on this bike, um, they actually took most of the sort of damage I guess over the years from the ageing. Um, 
the tyres, oh, not in focus. The tyres, uh, they were shot, so I replaced them with some rally branded ones with the gun walls. Oh, I've got one dirty, um, so I've got new gun wall tyres on it. The cassette that's on there really doesn't have any wear on it at all. Um, the teeth are still like perfect on there, so I'm just going to clean that up and well keep it um, gonna clean all the hubs and spokes later um, but the I guess majority of the work that needs to be done on these rims these wheels are the rims uh, there's a the dirty there's a bit of rusting on them so I'm gonna take them inside once I've cleaned them up and grease the bearings and get the sparkly again. cold today it's cold um, right update on the what is this the Magnum um, it's clean the wheels are there and they are all cleaned down the chrome's clean the spokes are clean the hubs have been greased up and cleaned uh, the free wheel is like perfect on there it's got new tyres on it new tubes and I've cleaned up the seat and seat post and lubed all that. I've just taken obviously the wheels out so I've worked on the front end. I need to grease up the headset next. That's my next list to do. So all the cables are off it. Um, handlebars are there, they've all been cleaned down. Not sure whether I'm keeping the original tape just yet. I'll leave that to Sinjito when the bike's together. Um, oh yeah, but one thing I'm not sure if I've actually said on camera, the cables. Haven't got an example here. Um, I thought that the Positron, which is here, the Positron shifting, I thought that was just a normal cable going through it. Um, like you would on any other gear system, but apparently not. Um, it's actually a steel, a solid steel cable. Is this it? Oh, here it is. Um, you're not even going to see that. Let me zoom in. Okay, it's a solid steel cable. You're not going to see that. Okay, but anyway, solid steel cable um, which acts as a push pull when you change the shifter. So I can't just use a normal cable. Firstly, because the ends don't even work on it. So I can't just put a. Um, yeah, firstly, because the ends don't actually work on it. It has. The Positron cable has specific built-in um, sort of ferrule ends on the cable itself so I'm having to order a new one um, which is coming from Germany it was either Germany the US or Canada I could order it from it seems so I don't know if that's going to get here till before or after Christmas um, and then when that comes I can fit it but 
I'm just going to grease up the headset now, clean up, clean it up as well. Um, I'm going to put the bars back on, fit the brake cables that I've got, and then clean up the derailleurs on the back there. Positron, the battery's running low, and the front. I'm going to take this off and grease it all up. So, yep, yeah, okay. Battery is running out, so I'm going to have to maybe leave it there for today. So before the light completely fades this evening, because it is going down now, and I'm having to whack the ISO right up. Um, so what we've we done? Uh, quickly before the battery dies, we've got handlebars back on, we've got headset grease, we've got shifters back on. That's all cleaned up now, nice and shiny. So I've just got to wait for this cable for this side. I can install this cable and put brake cables on. So I've got some, I've changed from white to black cable on that so it's better lasting. And so that cable's back on. They're all nicely adjusted there. We've got wheels back on, spinning nicely. Front wheel, obviously, on the front. And we've got the Positron shifter, Positron derailleur, sorry, all nicely cleaned up. Um, very quickly before the battery dies. The Positron is kind of indexed, and you can actually see it. Which way does it go? There. You've got some little cogs there that it selects into. So, we've got that to do um, when the cable arrives. But next is just taking off the crank set, greasing it up, and then installing the cable for the front derailleur. And the bike will almost be there then. Nice and clean barn find. So, this is the elusive. Positron shift cable. Um, special, I don't know if I said because it's got, it's all one piece really, and it's got a, a solid steel inner. So hopefully I'll be able to get that on now. With the, it comes with a pack of like little washers and special things to go on. Um, I've got the crank set back on, that's all greased up. So pretty much now I've just got to put the shift cables on and put the chain on and then she's good to roll again. I am hating this Positron. Hate it. I can hate it. Swear words hate it. Swear words hate it. Um, yeah, it's not the best shifting system in the world, is it? I'm having to... I mean, there's play here in the derailleur that I can't get rid of. Um, so it's slow shifting between gears. It, there's really delay. Sometimes it won't even shift into a gear until you go past it and then go back into it. And oh, it's, it's awful. Um, I had a bit of a fight to get it on to start with. Trying to work out which way all the, the little washers went on. There's a little adjustment screw in there to adjust the position to get it into gears but it don't seem to do anything because there's still this plate in the derailleur bloody hell um, yeah that's the front I put all that stuff on backwards to start with but that's all in there now it's so cold today um, Let's see if I, I won't be able to do this one handed. No, because I gotta change the. I was gonna show you a, a demonstration of how slow it is to get into gears, but actually, can I see if I can put you down somewhere? Uh, there we go, done. Um, silly me forgot to order an outer cable for this, so I managed to find a Sturmy Archer offcut that I had. So that's got a black cable. All black out all the way down there to protect it. 
tucked in nicely to the positron things just clean the pedals off they've come up nicely um, yeah that's about it I don't know about whether to change the bar tape or not mm, it's a bit raggedy around the edges but I don't know I kind of I kind of like that it's got the original tape still on it I've got the tape anyway to change if needs be so um, I'll do a montage in a few seconds and if whoever buys this bike wants new bar tape I will fit it There it is guys, one barn find, transformed into a beautiful bike. I mean it was hiding underneath all along but um, yeah just sometimes the it's worth taking a chance on a bike. It's cleaned up beautifully. Still don't like the Positron gears, um, I do not know what Shimano were thinking with those but you know experimental indexing I guess. Um, yeah, ready for the next owner now. So it's a bit of a uh, learning curve for me with the Positron because I've never worked with that before. Um, but at the end of the day, it seems to have worked out, and the bike's back to being used again. I mean, if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up, share it around, comment, subscribe, whichever you want to do. Um, I've got at least two more coming up soon to do. I'm going to throw in a few kind of little how-to videos, I guess, as well. I've got a few planned, so keep, stick around for those. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.